Hi everybody, Steve Elliott here again. Hope you're having a great day. This is a painting I did, uh, painted in Art Rage on the iPad. I was going for atmosphere, not detail. So I'm going to show you how I did this. Let's get right into it. So two things here. One, uh, it appears that at the minute I'm really interested in catching atmosphere and the elements. And two, I'm sort of well into art rage again. Um, let's talk about the elements first. This scene uh, is taken from my recent trip to Buxton with Special K. And we called into Matlock on our uh, way back home for the day. And the weather was changing rapidly. One minute it was absolutely teeming down with rain. The next minute the sun was out. And it gave these really atmospheric shots where um, it wasn't clear. There's no way that um, you, it was a nice sort of bright sunny day and all the wet and everything made everything really hazy and I guess there was still a lot of moisture in the atmosphere and it was a really hazy day um, but very bright. So you can see from this photo here that we've got this sort of uh, the light bouncing off the roofs and uh, uh, the road and everything, which is, I just love that. But if you look at the sky, it's not a bright blue sky. It's very hazy and you can see where the sun is. It's sort of um, trying to shine through uh, the clouds. Uh, and then there's some sort of more stronger clouds in the foreground. So it was all a bit weird, but really really nice lighting so that's what i'm trying to capture in this painting nothing seemed to be in focus and in detail in the scene so i would so it's all about the light here i guess and um that is what i'm trying to capture so i could have gone two ways with this i've sort of go with the really loose oil painting or i was would do it as a watercolour because it would work equally as well as a watercolour I felt but um, I wanted to do the oil painting because I, I'm into art rage and I'm messing about with these thick paints and I've been if you watch the live streams you'll know that I've done a few uh, thick paints and art rage on the PC but I'm, I still can't get over how good the app is uh, when I first started um, using Art Rage on my iPad Pro, um, I, I hadn't really kind of got it set up exactly how I wanted it, and I was struggling um, getting the the kind of the right size canvas to work with the brushes that you cannot enlarge greater than one hundred percent. That is the only real criticism I've got with Art Rage on the iPad is that the brushes have a fixed size of one hundred percent, which then kind of determines how big you make your canvas because if you go too big the brushes become uh tiny. So but if you make them bigger then they become out of focus and blurred. So I don't know. So eventually I found that I was working with a canvas, um, I think about A3 size or something like that, and it works great. So I will, I'll, I'll look up the actual size of this painting and I'll put it on the screen somewhere so you can get an idea of what size I'm working with. And I wanted to just put in sort of use like the, the square brush for these roofs on the buildings and everything. And I wanted the sort of distant hills to be uh, blurry. And I didn't want any real sort of anything defined. It was all about sort of shadows and lights. So, um, and I just felt that Art Rage is great for that. It's so quick. I can't believe how fast... Um, it all is on the iPad. And the more I use the iPad, and now I've got the Cintiq 16, I have to say, as good as the Cintiq 16 is, and it is a sort of working at an easel type scenario where you can't easily spin things around. Working on an iPad is like working on a sketchbook. 
where you can uh, get in a comfy chair and you can sort of change the angle. I know you can rotate the image uh, with the touch screen and everything, but you can also physically move and tilt the iPad to uh, any angle. And I just think uh, that the apps have also take better advantage of the tilt of the eye pencil than the apps that I've tried on the Cintiq 16. The Cintiq 16 is absolutely phenomenal. I just think that the apps on the iPad seem to have nailed it better. But anyway, that doesn't mean I don't like the Cintiq 16 and I like using the apps because they have they do have a lot more features, uh, the, the programs on the PC. I love using those because they do have way more features than uh, the apps. But, um, the iPad version of of um, ArtRage for me, for for the way I use it, works as well, if not better than the PC version. So, uh, and and um, you can get effects on it on the iPad that you just can't get. I don't think in any other app, especially with the thick paint, the watercolor not so good, to be honest. And I haven't tried the pastels on the um ipad art rage yet so i really need to test them out but the oil paint is just phenomenal so that's why i'm you know, uh, using those and i've decided i decided to paint this all in one canvas uh one layer sorry so like a canvas so as you would do a traditional painting and the more i work with oil paint the more i think that is the best way to be working uh, just on one layer and I've done most of my old paintings the, or the last I don't know 10 to 20 of them have, have been done created on one or as few layers I possibly can and you can see there look that's the kind of level of the detail I'm going for in the houses because that's what I could see you know I couldn't see anything more focused and detailed than that so you don't have to go drawing every little building and then um drawing the um each of the roofs in and uh, meticulously make sure that you get the gable ends in and and the barge boards and the eaves and uh, you know all that architectural details the fascia and uh the doors and all of that so to me looking at that now from a distance that looks they look fine they look like uh, nice buildings and they work perfectly well and that's about what i could see and apparently i've got uh, i've just been to the opticians and although i wear glasses and can't see much at all close up without my glasses i have got better than 20 20 vision for long distance so what i was seeing is pretty much what everybody would have been seeing uh, that day and it was just blurry so why would i want to paint something that's you know with a lot of detail when the detail wasn't there anyway and then i'm into this thing paint thing with the tubes of paint i'm just loving that i just kind of it just adds, i don't use it over the all of the painting i like to just sort of use it in the odd place just to add some real thick paint and, and texture so i've used that in the foreground and then I'm swapping between, most of this was painted with the, um, I started off using the square oil brush. And then I went into the thick, uh, the glossy square oil brush, which gives you the thick paint effect. And then some tubes of paint. And then I used the hard out chisel um, palette knife. And that's pretty much all the tools that I used on this um painting at all i kind of in the foreground here i i sort of went in trying to paint in the benches and then i felt that they were uh, distracting and took away from the scene really uh, i hope you like me dog i put a lot of effort into getting that dog just right um so yeah you can see i'm putting the benches in here and i just felt that, that it was in the corner of the the painting and it wasn't really adding a lot so i kind of 
left them there a little bit, but l sort of painted over a lot of it as well. I also moved that uh, shadow on that wall because for some bizarre reason, I painted it on the wrong side of people. I don't know how I managed that. There you can see, look, I kind of painted out the benches, most of them again, and just sort of left it a lot looser. There we go. I, ju I just felt that that was more in keeping with what I was trying to achieve uh, with the painting. I didn't want any real detail. So, I mean, there's lots of brush strokes on there. When you look, there's loads and loads of things happening, but the, it, it's all very, very abstract and very, very loose, which is um, wh when I feel I'm at my best. I think this is probably my favourite style. I've got different styles. You know, when people say, what style do you paint in? I've got different styles for if I'm using pencils to charcoals to watercolour. They all, whatever medium I'm use, impacts the style I'm painting with dramatically. And you would probably think they were all done by different artists for the styles that I use for each medium. But this is uh, definitely the style that I am I love to do when I'm using oil paints, where I'm just sort of getting these thick paints on and um, just sort of trying to grab the atmosphere uh, as much as I am the detail in the scene. And I really think painting like this really does um, look like a conventional painting, a traditional painting. It doesn't look like a, a digital painting at all. So I'm really pleased with the way that I'm, I'm going with that and the way that I've uh, developed this style. So, uh, yeah, that's it's a style that I think I will be painting in for a long, long while to come. So that is it. That is just putting the last brush stroke on. There we go. That is my um, very misty day in Matlock. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, uh, a big thumbs up helps me out tremendously. So uh, please give me a thumbs up. Much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing because I have lots of videos like this and I would love to be sharing them with you. So hopefully I will see you all in the next one. Bye.